Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. Y'all, I know it's been a minute, but it's been so much going on. But first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everyone for your continued prayers for my son. Um, for the donations. Y'all, it means a lot. Um, and if most of you don't know, my son was in a fatal car accident July 3rd. But he's now home, he's recovering, he's doing good, and God is good, he's able. So I just want to say thank you. And I have been getting a lot of requests for chocolate dip apples. I haven't posted chocolate dip apples with the line, so that is what this is going to be today. I had all the time, so I decided why not, you know, post a video, do a video. So what you're going to need is straws and sticks. And I get these sticks from Bamboo, I want to pronounce it right. Um, but it's this right here. I'm not about to see it. And they're going to be 8 by 5 inches um, long. And the width is going to be 5. So it's going to be 8 by 5 inches and 5 mm. So that's it. Okay, before we get in, and I'm be using honor bark. You get this from Walmart. And you're just gonna place your sticks inside your paper straw. Just like um, I'm doing with candy apples. And as you can see, my apples are green and they have been in the refrigerator, so they're cold. I'm just gonna wipe them down. And like I was saying, just like with my candy apples, I'm going to do the same thing with putting the straw in. And I use a hammer. I mean, you can use anything you want, but a hammer works fine for me. I'm just going to take it, place my straw with my stick inside of my paper straw in the center of my apple. And I'm just going to beat down. You don't want to go too far to the bottom because you don't want your sticks to come at the bottom of your apple. But you want it in there secure enough so it won't come out. Same with the other apples. And move it to the side. You want to get as far, you want to get exactly in the middle of your apple. Okay. So I'm done with that. We're going to set that to the side. And we're going to be, like I said, using almond butter. And the thing that I don't like with almond butter, because as you know, most of you who follow me you know I do not use almond butter for coloring chocolate. But I have been using it lately. And I'm not going to lie, I like it. And this is the thing I don't like is chopping it up. And I'm only doing this so it can melt a little faster in the microwave. This, I hate to see a mess. Okay, 
gotta grab a spoon. Okay, and I'm just gonna thin it out with a little coconut oil. You don't need a lot. You really don't need to thin this out with anything because almond bark melts smoothly by itself. But I'm so used to thinning, so. Okay, I'm gonna place this in the microwave for a minute. If you're new to melting chocolate, I suggest you do it 30 seconds at a time. But I'm gonna do a minute. And we're also going to be coloring it. I'm going to be using pink. And you can get this online at SD. And it's, um, I want to say Chameleon color. I may be pronouncing that wrong. But this is my all-time favorite. I know Chef Master got candy coloring also, but to be honest, I don't like theirs. But this is my all-time favorite. It gives you the exact color you're looking for. I'm not saying that this don't, it just don't for me. It don't work for me. I mean, it's okay. I'll use it if I have to, but if I don't, I don't. But this is what you want. And they come in all colors. Blue, purple, black, red. All those colors. Okay. I'm just not taking it out of the microwave for the first minute. I'm just going to give it a stir. I'm going to put it back in the microwave for an additional 30 seconds. So how was your weekend? I think it was Labor Day just passed. Um, Lunch was okay. Didn't do much or nothing. Didn't do nothing, period. But um, it was okay. I God woke me up that morning, so that was enough for me. But um, I know I've been in my age, but like I explained, my son was in an accident, so I'm just now getting around. You know, I've been doing my orders, but videos. Okay, I just took it out the microwave for an additional 30 seconds. You can see it's starting to um, melt. You don't want to um, overheat this because your chocolate will burn. So now I'm just, you know, giving it a stir work and all the chocolate that hasn't been melted. Let me get the heat from the bowl and from the chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna do one more 30 seconds. I'm going to get back into posting videos on the regular. I'm going to try to at least put out a video per week. I'm going to try. But I'm home. It may be a little hard because, like I said, my son is home. But he is in a wheelchair, so I have to do most of the stuff for him. Then I have a four-year-old, so it might be a little hard. Then I'm still running my own business, so it might be a little hard. But I'm going to try to put a video out. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that's gonna do it. The rest of the clumps in here is just gonna melt from the heat of the um the glass bowl and from the um hotness of the chocolate. 
So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color my topping. Y'all have to get this up because it is driving me crazy. One second. Okay, I'm gonna color. You see, that was just a drop. You see the loud, vibrant color that it gives? A drop will go a long way. You want it darker? Add more. If you want it lighter than this, add a smaller drop than what I added. See how pretty that pink is? This is this pink candy color. Okay. So now I'm gonna let this set because I don't I'm not gonna dip my apple straight out because it is hot. And it will like clump up your apple or give it that ugly like dipping effect so I'm gonna let this cool and as this cool for about I say five minutes I'll be back okay now that I'm back my chocolate is starting to cool and I just added my chocolate to this container that I got from Porty City would recommend that it go in the microwave because I don't think it's microwave safe. But hey, I just put it in another dip. Okay, now I'm gonna be adding flavoring. You could add flavoring to your chocolate. I'm only gonna add a drop. And give it a stir. Okay, I had a call come in. Sorry, but I'm just stirring it up. Okay, so. Then I'm going to top it back. And as for my apples, you don't necessarily have to clean your apples the way that you would if you was doing candy apples. All you have to do is run these apples under some hot water. And my kitchen sink gets very hot. And I just run it under that take a um, towel and just wipe them off. And that's all you have to do for chocolate apples. You can clean them the same way you do candy apples. I mean, that's your preference if you want to do it that way, but you don't have to. And I'm going to be using this to put the lines on. And I get these bottles from Sam's. And they're for condiments like ketchup, mustard, mayo, and all that kind of stuff. But I use them for chocolate. Okay. And I'm using this parchment paper, and I'm going to be placing them on this pan with parchment paper. And the reason why I have this, you'll see. So I'm just going to take my apple. And I also have a toothpick, 
for any little bubbles. I'm just gonna pop them. I'm just gonna give it a shake. Then let's do it like this. And place it on here. And the reason why I'm placing it on this paper first is to get any excess chocolate that's gonna drip off. Then I'm gonna place it there. And the same with this apple. Let me just dry it off. Take it. Dip it. Taking my toothpick, popping any bubbles. I'm going to place it. And the bubbles come from your chocolate from um if you don't if you stirring too much bubbles will come. Okay, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna place it over here. And the same with this apple. Any bubbles, just pop them and they come right on out. They usually come off if you shake it. You just place it down. like so and I'm gonna let these dry then I'm gonna dip mine a second time y'all know who follow me I dip two times <laughs> I just like the way the color pops on them when you dip them a second time versus one time and that's just my preference see so I'm gonna let these um, set and then I'll be back to dip up the second time. Okay, now that they're set for the first time, I'm gonna dip them for the second time. The same way, just dip it in, making sure you cover completely. Shake it the same way you're gonna do a candy apple. Just gonna sit it. See how that's gonna come from the bottom? That's what I don't want, so that's why I sit it here first and then place it. And so, okay, the other one, same way. I'm just shaking it off. You see the air bubbles popping. Then I'm gonna place it down here. hate to see big bottoms for apples so that's why I do it this way same way take it you don't want to get um chocolate all over your stick just like with um candy apples 
presentation is key and it do sell I'm just going to place it down place it here to dry so now I'm going to be adding the chocolate from the leftover chocolate from here into here I'm going to put my top on and y'all how y'all clean these is how I clean my bottles I take it and I run it under hot water and I let all the chocolate come out of it and after all the chocolate is um, out of the bottle I take a little um, dishwashing liquid just a little put it in the bottle take a towel a clean towel and try to get in there as best as I can with my hand or I take a knife and you know try to help me clean it then I let it go under hot water again completely removing all the dish soap and there you go let it dry Okay. I think I had a bubble chronicle. Okay. But um you gotta let these completely dry and after they dry I'll be back. Okay, now that my apples are completely dried, what you wanna do is decide what which one is your um the front of your apple, which one is the back of your apple. So I already done turned mine, this is going to be front and this is going to be my back. You take your sweets bottle and you see the bottom, if you want to cover, completely cover it, just add some chocolate. Wherever there are spots and just sit it down to dry. Okay. And just let it dry. Okay. Now I gotta decide what my okay. Okay. I'm gonna take it and you're just gonna go. You have to have steady hands for this. Just gonna go back and forth. And so, then you can take some more and sit it down. Same thing with this one. And just going back and forward. Like so. Okay. So that is it for that. And when they completely dry, have a little a little bonus. I'm gonna um share with y'all. So stay tuned. Okay, now that they're completely dried, I'm gonna set it to the side. And I'm going to make little bowls 
to go on them. And I get this um from I want to say Michaels. Michaels, I think. I had it so long, y'all. And I'm just gonna cut a piece, take it. Like this, then I'm gonna take it, push it together, and then I'm gonna bring it together. And so, and then I'm gonna take a twist tie. As y'all know, I move um, locations. I'm just gonna tie it around. So, I'm going to take my sheer um, scissors and I'm just going to cut. Like that. And be careful because the little pieces from the wire, because these are, I think, it's wire on um, ribbon. So, it's got the little wire pieces in them. Take another one, same thing, take it, take it, I'm just going to crisscross on my hand like that, then I'm going to take it, then I'm going to gather it, I'm going to pinch it like, then I'm going to take my twist tie, I'm going to put it in the center, grab it from the back, and I'm going to just tie it. I'm not perfect with making bows. I'd rather order my bows than to make them because I just don't have the time. Now, I will. I have made them. But I'd rather order them. So I'm going to take it, cut it, like that. So that is that for that. Okay. Moving along. I'm going to put these up. So I'm going to them. This was my bonus. And y'all, I'm going to make a video of edibles and non-edible, less the dust, edible glitters, um, disco dust, I mean, from all of it. But what I'm looking for is Uh, a brush and you can get this brush set from Michael's. I think it's like $7.99 and it comes like this with a big one and a little one okay move that to the side now I'm just making a nice edge of this. Y'all, my light was so bad in here, but this is um, Sterling Pearl Pink, and it's by the Sugar Arts, and it is 100% edible. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's how they do on the book bones, or whatever you call it. But... <laughs> And it's red here. But all their products is FDA approved, 100% edible. So I'm going to show you how to get that. 
shimmer effect and all that, you know. And this is how I look. It's, I wish y'all could see the actual. Um, I got the people coming to fix my light in here because it is awful. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. So I bring it up a little, then y'all can see it. It is such a um, pretty pink. And I want to show y'all the shimmer effect to it, but I don't know if y'all can see it. But, hey. I don't know. But, I haven't tried everything. Anyway. I'm going to take some. I'm just going to add it to my own. And all I'm doing is dry brushing this. You're gonna dab it, take your apple, and you're just gonna add it to it. And I'm making a complete mess. I should have put this in a cupcake liner. I mean, the way you apply it on here, is, I mean, to each of own, this is what works for me. And I'm just going to make sure I have everything, the whole entire apple, all but the bottom of the apple completely dusted. She was gonna make a lot of noise, but she surprised me. So now I'm just going through. I'm just taking it in one direction. Like so, and y'all, it's got this shimmer effect to it and anytime you want the shimmer like that pearl effect or that glitter effect to it you want anything that's a um, sterling or pearl pearl luster dust um, sterling pearl anything that say that's going to give you that um, that shine that glimmer that you know that sparkle I'm only going to do that for this one apple. And it's dry brush. I didn't paint it. You can add um, lemon extract to it and you can paint it, but it works for me like that. Okay. And I'm going to try to put some on my hands so y'all can see. See that um it's really pretty y'all. I guess the picture gonna um really show it so <laughs> I don't know. I'm bad with trying to um do so I'm gonna take my um my little bowls I made. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to just twist ties to the back of the stick. And I'm going to take. 
take the um the excess off that can. I'm just gonna cut it. twist it back there rather than tie it. Uh -oh. I've been so clumsy lately. I've been dropping everything. Our chocolate apples are so much better than whole candy apples. You don't have to worry about if you're trying to decorate them, sitting out too long, getting them sticky and all that. It's so much better to work with. And there you have it. tutorial of chocolate apples you can see we done made those I even um, dry dusted um, one of them and you see my little bowl is like 30 but <laughs> they'll work and even if you didn't want the um the twist tie you can always take a piece of the um the ribbon and put it in the middle and um, hot glue it like that. My, I didn't put my hot glue gun up, so I can't show y'all. So, but you can always do it that way. But this is it. And you see, I have a little SS string. You can always take a lighter and um, remove that. But hey, this is only for tutorials. So that is that. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And like I said, I'm gonna my hardest to um to put a video out once a week um but like i said it's gonna be kind of hard because i do have a four-year-old and I, my son is home and um i have to do things for him because he's in a wheelchair now but um y'all pray continue to pray um for his full recovery you know god moves everything and you know, with them, everything, any, everything, and anything is possible. So I just thank y'all for y'all prayers, donation, y'all time, um, calls, y'all texts, um, messages. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, it really makes a lot, and God heard every, all, and every prayer that was um, asked and prayed. So I thank you for that. Um, but. Um, like always, I'm going to end this video. Um, Y'all stay blessed, stay focused, um, continue to strive for the best. Never let no one tell you that um, the things that you're doing is not good enough or it's not on their level or anyone else's level. I mean, you do what you can do and um, continue to learn, to continue to grow. I mean, Learning never hurt nobody. Too much learning never hurt nobody. And growth never hurt nobody. Um, because I still have areas, you know, in this street world that I still have to um, to do. And, um, you know, so learning is for anybody. So, um, y'all stay focused, stay blessed. Until my next video. Bye-bye. So, this is the finished product. Not bad, huh? <laughs> so, I hope y'all enjoy. Okay, and the way you bag these is, if you have the, um, the clear boxes or the white boxes or the apple boxes, you can place them in there. If you don't, you can always take your treat bag 
two piece in the dollar store, Walmart, Michaels. They all have them. I'm just gonna place it on there. I'm just gonna tie them up. Then you can place it in a refrigerator until customers come and pick it up. Well, these are for nobody, so. Um, <laughs> but if they work on customer, I will place them in a refrigerator until um, if they come and pick them up and um, give them to them like that. So I just wanted to come back and show you how to bag them. Like I said, if you have the boxes, the candy apple boxes, you can place them in there. If you don't, these will work just fine. So, that's all. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. uh, mommy just told me to get up there to, to get the stuff so I stay in uh, the seat. <laughs> <laughs>